So the Oculus Quest 2 just came out and I'm going to be doing a day one run through giving you some tips and tricks and showing you how to set everything up. My first tip is if you buy it on Amazon, it comes in a big Amazon box. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so I think the most important thing to do is to go ahead and get it out of that box and then look at this other box. Here it is, the other boxes, like I had the Rift and the uh, Rift S and they were more uh, fat, whereas this is more wide. Not really a tip, just kind of weird. All right, now here comes the best part. It just flips open like that. Oh my gosh, look at how nice this looks. This is so awesome. And then I assume all of our cables and stuff are probably gonna be in here. And then this is our actual devices here that we're gonna be using. I wonder how much of a charge it has. Let me go ahead and go through this real quick. Box has pouch full of information right there. Plus it comes with your charger. This is also a link cable, but like, let's be real. This is really short. Probably don't want to use that as a link cable. And then of course the box had a controller, another controller, the headset itself, most importantly. And then it has a, a nice little spacer for glasses. So you can use your glasses while using this. Guess I would say that these pull tabs are here because the batteries are probably already in here. I actually do not see them included separately, which every other Oculus device I've used did not have this setup. Wow. You get access to this. You simply go over to where the, uh, you know, the batteries are at and then you just kind of like pull on it with your thumb. You just have to like get the grip. That actually comes off really nice. The, uh, the rift, such a pain to get the stuff off. I don't know if you can see that. You actually can kind of see it a little bit. Uh, I had to go ahead and go through some quick start stuff in the oculus and once i'm done setting this all up unfortunately i can't really show you it but it is incredibly simple it's just asking like um type in your wi-fi password stuff like that i'll actually show you everything whenever i get the chance whenever it's all done You're going to need to go ahead and once you set up your wi-fi it'll download some updates and then it'll make you download the oculus mobile app on android and ios uh, my be on other things i don't know and set everything up so the next thing up on my list is going to be showing you how to really unlock all the capabilities of your oculus quest 2 and that is with side loading so side loading essentially kind of makes it where there are special like developer apps i think is the best way to put it that you can play on your oculus quest 2 and you can even do things like mods which is pretty nice. So there are gonna be three links. This should all be super easy to set up. Pretty much what you will need to go is go to sidequestvr.com and on there you can go ahead and just hit get sidequest. And then, depending on your operating system, you go ahead and you just download it. And then the next thing it's going to have is you need to create an organization. So again, you have to be like, you kinda of gotta go into developer mode to set all this stuff up. So you'll click on this link and it'll take you to, uh, not this page. It'll take you to a page where you'll be logged in. If you're not logged in, go ahead and log in. And then it'll just be like, hey, you need to make uh, a name for this developer company, okay? And I've seen people just put gibberish in here. So, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying that Oculus or Facebook or whoever is going to like that, but I don't think you have to be like, super crazy about the name. I think you just kind of put something in there and then you're able to move on. I think they actually have a, uh, right here, you just create a new organization and then you name it and that's super easy. And then you have the driver. So for this, only on Windows, you will need to go to here, download this and install it. And then what you can go ahead and do, it doesn't actually have it on here on this list. Oh, I guess this is the first thing, duh, is there's an app. And I will show you that uh, because I'm not going to be able to show you the enable developer mode and reboot. Thankfully, they have that on here, but 
So basically, there's a developer mode you can go to in the Oculus app, and you can go ahead and swap over to developer mode, reboot, and then you can connect this to your PC and use side quest on your PC to be able to set this all up. So this is me and the Oculus right now. I'm just about to plug it in and whatever you do, you're going to see the recording kind of goes black and right here is that screen. Okay, that's what it looks like, that screenshot. And you need to enable that and then it'll ask you if you wanna use Oculus Link. The whole point of me doing side quest is so I can do virtual desktop. So I'm gonna hit no and then you're good. You don't need to be in the headset anymore. We can go over to the PC. Next, I'm gonna show you the main thing that I want to set up, and that is virtual desktop on my Oculus. So I can hook it up to my PC and play like Steam VR or just PC VR in general. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. It's not detected, it will be in a second. Also, I don't know if your PC is going to do this, but it seems like if there's no activity on my quest for a little bit, it just disconnects in side quest i don't know why but as you can see obviously it does work it just i don't know eventually bugs out so i typed in virtual desktop and i'll show you it real quick and whenever i went into here it says virtual desktop a vr patch lets you stream from your computer to the headset i'm going to go ahead and hit install to headset and it's going to go ahead because we have it all hooked up just set it up real nice and easy like that and look at that, all tasks complete. So now I can go ahead and jump over to my headset and make sure everything's going right. Whenever you go into virtual desktop in the Oculus, it'll say download virtual desktop streamer. It's just a little PC app that you can grab from their website, virtual desktop. And then it wants you to enter in your Oculus username and it'll go ahead and set everything up. And here we are at Virtual Desktop in my Oculus Quest 2. As you can see, I'm recording the screen in there. So you do have some options you can do. You could change some environments, kind of like the Oculus Home or the Steam VR setup. So that's nice. It's not, you know, huge. And then it auto detected all my Oculus and Steam games. You can go through and change some of the inputs. I have this just at default. I haven't really messed with this any yet. I haven't felt the need to, so I'm not gonna go over that too much. Settings. So on settings, I actually have my environmental quality on medium right now. I haven't tweaked with settings a ton. This is still just day one of me using this. Um, seems to be the smoothest. I have desktop bitrate cranked all the way up, but I don't have the bitrate cranked all the way up on my Quest 2. As you can see, me my uh, VR bitrate, I'm kind of tweaking with these settings. This is what I've just found is really smooth, both visually appealing and like in terms of no lag or anything. You're probably going to need to mess with this depending on your connection now. Uh, there's nothing in the video tab. And I think that's really about all for that. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like whenever you jump in. So I'll just hit virtual desktop. As you can see, it threw me into space. What's going on? Okay, so here is my desktop. Pretty crazy, I know. I'm looking at it virtually. It does show that I'm connected, which is great. I'm on five gigahertz and I have a pretty strong connection, so this should go pretty good. You can use Steam VR or you can just directly go into your games and launch it, which is what I'm going to do to show you this off. And this is Super Hot VR. And Super Hot VR is a very special game because it is fun. And not all VR games are fun, let me tell you. Some of them are actually not fun, but Super Hot is fun. And I'm in the room, I'm literally, I'm stuck in the desk. It's up, it's running, it's working. You can tell I am recording in headset and it's all smooth. But the real test, the real test I would say is Beat Saber because you can do Super Hot, Super Hot things move slow. Okay, but if we're doing this, if we're playing Beat Saber, it's, you know, rhythm based. You need to be in sync with everything going off. You can tell that there's no like obvious quality downsides from using the uh, Quest 2 on this. I am recording again in the internal uh, screen. Like this isn't off of the PC. 
and I feel like it, it looks really good, especially in headset, but it also runs super smooth. I had no notes that I missed that I was like, ah, oh, that wasn't my fault. And I'm gonna be honest, there were times whenever I would use the Oculus Rift S wired and it would mess up. Now, to be fair, this is like one of the uh, first times I've played Beat Saber in like a month or two, because I sold my Rift S to get the Oculus Quest. So, I'm not doing amazing, but even just me playing, this is like my third song in, again, like two months. And I'm like, oh, all of this feels really good. It feels fair. There aren't like any weird hiccups where I'm like, ah, oh, that wasn't my bad. I should have got that. And again, sometimes on the Rift S, I would have that. Now, this isn't a huge sample size, so I wouldn't say this video is definitely not me saying get the Quest 2 instead of the Rift S. Like, that's absolutely not what I'm saying. But I am saying this is running really well. Okay, this is, I'm absolutely happy with this. I'm going to continue to use it like this. If you have any questions, you wanna know anything about how to hook this up, how I got hooked up, maybe I glossed over some details that you're stuck on, please let me know. There is actually a Discord for virtual desktop, and I actually had some issues getting mine set up at first. I needed to hook up my PC to my router instead of my modem. So if you're having that issue, there you go. I solved that one for you already. Uh, if you have any more, again, feel free to ask me about them. And that is the end of that song right there. And it's the end of this video.